in my imagination, or are these alternating on which bolts they're firing on? I think they are. Now they appear to be going in sync, the same pulse. Okay, so it looks like we've got a system running here, so we'll check it out. So I noticed that the the tie clip here is not quite long enough to secure on this uh, diameter of uh, fill tube for this particular bottle. But we'll we're also using this block uh, as a ballast point to secure the uh, line while filling. And uh, we're skipping the carabiner and additional mooring point and simply uh, using the, uh, the loop uh, directly. We're going to start with a slow fill point here. Slow rate of fill, I should say. The first time out of the box for this grassroots mapping kit. Had it quite a while, just haven't had a chance to fly it. So the occasion is the, uh, the two A1200s uh, is dual triggering via CHDK, new again. Interesting, it sounds like we may be running out of gas, which was the question I had as to how much gas I had in this, this guy. I knew I needed to refill after Niall and I uh, made our flight, but I didn't know how much I'd have. So we'll just see what we, what we get into this balloon. It certainly is not anywhere near five feet yet. So we'll just see how it goes. Different sound quality to the escaping gas now as we must be near the end of the charge on this bottle. So, not quite neutral buoyancy here. Not enough gas to fly. Well, this is just a test. Certainly don't want this to happen in a real situation, so that it's another reason to be sure you've checked your bottle gas inventory and know where you stand. So just roughly with a measuring stick here, it's not hard to see we're at about 26, 28 inches in diameter way lower than the five and a half foot nominal diameter for this balloon.